I'm Susie Omblade. I do watercolors on stretched paper, and I'm local here to Arizona, uh, born and raised. Oh, from an early age, yeah. <laughs> um, so I have a twin sister. Uh, I can't ever talk about art without talking about her. Um, we both were creative from an early age. So, you know, to, when we were little kids, like, you know, five years old and stuff. So my mom would either put us in front of the TV to distract us and we would be sucked into the screen, or she would put down art supplies and we would be, just be at it for hours. So from, you know, very early on, we knew that art was something that we loved. And uh, the more that as time passed, we realized this is the career that we wanted. With watercolor, it's the surprise, because with oil, you have this uh, very controlled method of putting the paint down. But with this medium, watercolor, there's a freedom that happens, because you put the paint down, and then it sort of does its own thing. And then you see the results, like uh, you know, the clouds here. You never exactly know what it's going to look like, but you know, they're that freedom you just can't have with oil. It's always surprising and fun. Well, if I mess it up, then uh, there's no going back. You know, you get one shot at getting it right. And if it doesn't work, then you just have to get a clean slate, start over with a fresh piece of paper. Um, but I've gotten to the point now where I'm pretty good at getting it to do what I would like it to do while still being surprised and happy with the results. Well, there's a, um, a calm that I try to capture, so a feeling when I'm at a location. So I usually get my references, I try to go there in person, and I try to capture the magic of that moment back in the studio. So I'll take my references with my pictures, I might do a little study with the colors, because there's colors that the camera can't capture, but the eyes remember. So I try to get those done within a short period of time of being there in person and uh, capturing that moment on, on paper. I grew up here in Scottsdale, but I had no idea it was a thing. And this, this celebration has been around since I was a baby. Like, I've been around for 32 years, and the celebration's been around for 32 years. And so I checked it out. I walk in the doors, and I thought it was Disneyland for the first time I walked in. I must have been here for like five hours that first day, just absorbing the creativity and talking to the artists and getting inspiration. I was like buzzing when I got home. It's like, I gotta paint, you know? <laughs> and um, I, I came back multiple times, brought my friends, brought my sister. And um, I, I set a goal that first day that I wanted to get into the show anywhere between five to 10 years. It's five years now. So I got in five years after I found this place. And that's just, it's wonderful. <laughs>